what is going on guys today we're going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called item join so this is the ultimate plugin for everyone every server owner this allows you to set which items your players get when they join your server so instead of having a kit you can use this to specifically set what kind of items your players get now you can also set flags like being unbreakable so these items can be unbreakable undroppable stuff like that you can also set it to where they get these items back if they rejoin or maybe they don't get it back if they rejoin it's all up to you guys if that sounds interesting make sure to download this plugin drop your plugins folder and then restart your server let's go ahead and get started so the first thing that you want to do is you actually want to head to the config so inside your server folder you should see this config.yml now open it up and if you use any of these plugins make sure to enable which one you have to true simple as that go ahead and save it now on the items.yml this is the big part so obviously you'll see a huge explanation all this stuff but that's what i'm here for so i'm going to help you guys out with that um, but one thing you might want to keep note are the item flags these are important so like the unbreakable this makes the item indestructible if you want to hide the attributes um, and those are the things that if you hover over the item it will display like a sword will have like plus seven uh, damage or something like that and then first join um, you know all these little things that you can it's all up to you guys so if they respawn then you can give it back to them if it's their first time and you know those are the items that they can get anyways and also if you change the if, if they change the worlds or whatever anyways let's go ahead and get started so Let's start off with global settings. The global settings will prevent certain things from happening. So if your players somehow drop it, then you can prevent people from picking it up by setting this to true. You can allow bypass, uh, you know, create a mode. You don't want you don't want to do that. And then you can ignore that if you like. And then down here in the first join, you can enable the first join mode. So this is completely ignoring everything. You can just make it to when they first join your server um, but let's actually scroll down to the world list so the worlds that obviously this will work on I'm gonna go ahead and include my own down there and then the world if you scroll down that is quite a bit now I'm gonna scroll up I'm gonna change this because I'm not gonna use the world I'm gonna make it town because that's the world I'm using you have to do this for every world listed and every world that you want this to work on so I know that might be quite a struggle if you have a lot of worlds that you want this to work on. But anyways, let's go ahead and move on. So this is the name of the first item that your player will receive. You can name this whatever you want. It's not the actual name of the item. Um, so Ultra Item, that's obviously a diamond sword with a certain enchantment. So that's why the plugin developer named it Ultra Item. So we're going to go ahead and spice this up a little bit. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and create our own item. So I'm going to select all this text right here, all the way up to actually no. We're going to select all this all the way up to Ultra Item. Hit Control C to copy it. Enter a new line in between Ultra Item and Skullbreaker because that's the next item. Backspace all the way, and hit Paste with Control V. So there we go. Because I want to create our own. I don't want to just edit one. We're going to create our own. So we're going to call this item. You know what, we're going to be simple. We're going to give our players a whole stack of logs. So that will help them start out with their adventure. I'm just going to call it logs. So the ID will be log in all caps. The slot number, let's see, zero is already taken. So is two. I don't see one being taken. So we're going to use the slot number one. The name, we obviously have to change that. You guys can add any color codes before the word to make it appear in a certain color. I'm going to make it light green. I'm going to call it logs. Just simple. We're, we're doing simple stuff. Data value. So if you want a specific log, you can change it to, you know, that certain data value, how many they get. So let's make this 64. And then the lore. So a stack of logs. This will help you out with your adventure. All right. So there we go. This will help you out starting your adventure. Enchantment. Obviously, we wouldn't have any enchantments, but you guys can include some for any item that you create so I'm gonna erase all of these and you know, we're gonna actually delete the whole thing so there we go commands so these are commands are that are executed when they get this item um, you wouldn't really need to do this too much like I really don't see the point in it but these commands are executed when they do a certain action so when they right click the air with it or right click a block with it and this will happen so I, at the same time it could be kind of useful 
if you want to execute a certain command. So I know essentials, you can go through certain walls, like you can actually pass through those walls. So maybe with a diamond sword or something, you want to be able to pass through those walls, like maybe that sword gives you that ability. So when you right click a block, you know, you have that ability, let's say, and actually the command is slash through. So we're gonna, we're gonna leave that there, even though it doesn't really fit the logs. We're gonna do player colon and without the slash we're gonna do through I hope that works it should work and actually we're gonna go ahead and do it a second time just in case the player doesn't work we're gonna do quote without the slash through so that's just a single command a slash through will put you through walls alright and then there's the actions right there uh, there's a cost if you want to have a cost we're gonna make that zero though because I don't want them to uh, spend any money for using that Commands cooldown so every five seconds, command message, and then here we go. We have the item flags, very important stuff. Go so unbreakable, hide attributes, you know, you get it when you first join. Death drops this clears the item completely, like it completely erases it if your player dies and drops the item. And then this prevents the player from dropping the item. And then in respawn, this will be given to them if they respawn. I don't want that. If they change the world, they can keep it. And yeah, so that is pretty much it. You might want to you can go ahead and include a permission node to give to that group so most likely you would give it to your default group so I'm going to go with item join dot logs there we go and as you guys can see here there's other items that will also check out when we first join let's go ahead and save this restart our server and take a look alrighty guys so we hop back on our server and we got all these items as soon as we join there's whew, there's a ton as you guys can see here, we have the logs, the ones that we created in the config. This is our item. It is with everything else. So that is freaking sweet, guys. So tons and tons of things that we got. Let's see, there's the Ultra Sword, the logs, the Skull Breaker, Game Mode Token. So right click to use. Okay, so that will execute the command. I'll put you in creative mode. That's pretty cool. Bungie Cord, there's just a ton of things. So guys, the limits to this plugin are endless. If you can think it, you can pretty much do it with this plugin. Um, so let's go ahead and check out the pass through command. Hopefully it does work. Not 100% sure. Okay, so it did work. We just went through the wall. Unfortunately, we placed a block. But anyways, that was just to show you guys how the commands do work with it. Um, so pretty cool. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it, I know it was a basic tutorial. I didn't go too much in depth with it, but it was a basic tutorial, um, hopefully to get you the idea to give your players certain items when they first join. So if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.